Hello everybody, welcome to Clothe Dev Unfiltered. Uh, this is the second video in a series called How to Get Started with Near. Um, and so last video I went over, you know, what is Near? Uh, it's a blockchain. Um, it's a proof of stake blockchain. And what that means is that instead of using like uh, work, like Bitcoin, Ethereum, they use work, which just means the computer is doing work. It's doing a mathematical equation to try and find the answer to that math equation. And the first person to find the answer to that mathematical equation gets rewarded. Uh, so think about a typical, you know, day job. You go to your, you go to do your work. Uh, if you accomplish the task, you get paid. Only one miner uh, or computer gets paid uh, each time uh, there's a block produced. So a lot of that is not really that important. Uh, for proof of work because we are using proof of stake in near and what that means is instead of doing that work to get a reward you are staking your tokens uh, with a validator and that validator is going to look at the blockchain and check to see if the transactions and all the stuff that's going through the blockchain is correct and if uh, they, the validator sees that the transactions are correct um, they will vote yes and as long as they've and they can vote and they can propose a block so they have to propose blocks that are valid hopefully <laughs> that's what they call validators uh, and also they have to vote on blocks that they think are valid and if they if they vote incorrectly uh, they can get slashed and what that means is they can lose part of their stake um, so we'll get into it a little bit that's kind of just a very very high level overview of like what the difference between proof of stake and proof of work are, uh, but as you can see here, I am at wallet.near.org slash staking. You can see that up here um, in my browser. And this is the staking tab right here. So yesterday we started off at uh, the profile and the summary, so we can see the account ID. We're gonna be using the mckenzie.near account that I created last video. Uh, I sent it 19 near tokens last video. And you can see the minimum balance that you can't go below or else you'll get your account deleted. And then your available balance is what you can spend, which is your total balance minus your minimum balance. When you go over to staking, it'll say you can stake your near tokens with a validator. I'm actually going to move my camera. Sorry. It's not that centered and it's bothering me. <laughs> um, so we have that available amount to stake with a validator. And... I have zero near stake so far and zero rewards earned. And I'm gonna do this now uh, so that the next time I do a video, we can start seeing some rewards hopefully. So the first thing you do is you click stake my tokens and it'll give you a long list of different uh, validators to stake with. Uh, this little green active uh, notification means that these validators are currently actively staking in the near blockchain network. Um, they all have different fees attached to them, which is, that is how much. So right now the yearly rewards is about nine to 11% per year on your investment. So which means if you put, uh, you know, a hundred near into validating, you will earn approximately uh, 10 near per, per year, compounding every epoch. Uh, so right now, currently epochs in near are about 13 hours long. Uh, to get a little more of that information, we're going to go to a website. So you can see all these inactive validators at the bottom. These are validators that are inactive for whatever reason. For example, this Invest in Women run by Bison Trails. Uh, I used to validate with them for the Marmaday.Near account, but they lost uh, their seat as a validator. And I will show that information here. So if we go to this website, near dash staking.com you get a lot of information about staking that a lot of it isn't important but a lot of it is so you can see the last epoch uh apy so your you know your annualized uh you know earnings and then our pool this is the 256 stakes pool uh they're earning 10.3 percent okay so this seat price is how much near is required to be a validator. Uh, and you can see that 3 million near, right now near is almost $3 US, it's like 280 or 270 last I checked. 
So that is like eight million dollars that is required. Uh, so currently there are fifty six validators, computers that have that have that much that that many tokens either or allocated to them. So they can either have it themselves, or like you see here, you can delegate some of your tokens to that validator, and they will have they will be able to use your stake, use your tokens to validate the network and keep their seat. So this page gives a lot of information about, you can see each epoch, how much extra people are staking. So this past epoch, astrostakerspool.v1, uh, they increased their stake. So stake change, they increased by 170,000. That's quite huge. Uh, this Zavoldi, uh, they have a low fee, uh, but they decreased. So someone withdrew. So you can see here, uh, let's try and find one that we like. Let's, there's actually one that I do like. They do uh, the ZK podcast uh, group. They have a validator where they take their fees and they use those rewards for zero knowledge proof research. So here, ZKV, zero knowledge validator, stake to support privacy. So we're going to select that one. And so it tells you the validator name, which we can also see right here, ZKV, Stake to Support Privacy. Their fee is 10% and they have 5.1 million near currently in their validator. Uh, and they have 32 different people delegating to them, right? So some of these, you can see their fees are a lot, you know, 100%, which means uh, you're not going to earn any fees uh, on the blockchain, but maybe they're paying out fees in other currencies or somewhere else. Um, and this is a great website to use. Like you can see here, 1.7 million, uh, 1.17, sorry, million near they lost in the last epoch. So that's a huge amount. So maybe it's because of these two lost, uh, these two missed seats, who knows? You can look up more information here. Uh, we're not gonna do that right now. This is just an intro video. But this is where you can see, so this is where I used to stake, uh, invest in women, run by Bison Trails. But you can see, not enough stake. So because they didn't have enough stake for that seat price like we showed above, uh, it takes three million uh, near to, to keep your spot. They got kicked out of the network. They can no longer earn rewards. So you can see here, uh, these people were really close, but they got, they're going to get kicked out on the next one, right? So they, they, they're validating currently, but they got kicked out and you could see here, the next seat price is 3 million, uh, 33, uh, thousand. So potentially in the next round, they will be able to get back in. So they probably increased their amount to make sure they can get kicked in. If we look here. Um, I'm assuming this is going to bring up the block explorer for this validator, um, but we're going to look at that later. So if we decide that we want to stake with this validator here, all we got to do is click stake with validator and put an amount in. So let's just put one near in. I'm going to unlock my ledger so we can get prepared for this. Um, doo -doo 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 so now. I can hit submit stake, okay? It'll make me confirm that I want, I'm basically gonna send one near token from my wallet to a, the smart contract for this validator. Uh, so I hit confirm. So I am gonna be sending this validator one of my near tokens, and I'm gonna start earning this uh, staking reward, right? Around 10 point, 8% minus a 10% fee. So I'll learn, I'll lose a little bit of my, uh, of my rewards, but that's going to go towards the validator and you know, they're going to use it for zero knowledge privacy, which I think is a pretty good initiative. Uh, and so this is the pool that is now inactive. Okay. So let's go back here. Success. Your stake has successfully been delegated. So basically instead of me voting myself, I am giving my one near vote to, to someone else, uh, to these people, ZKV, stake to support privacy.pool, v1.near. 
Uh, now I can return to my dashboard and I'll be able to see that information. I have one near state, I have zero rewards earned, um, and hopefully after a couple of epochs, so the next epoch is going to start in, and the epoch is just a period with which all these validators vote within. So all these validators, these 56 validators, they're going to vote within this uh, you know, 13 hour and 30 minute time period, after which some validators will be kicked out, right? So some validators will get kicked out of their ability to vote. And I am sure some new validators will get brought back in uh, if they get enough uh, near for, for a seat. Um, so, but what, what I did not realize first when I first started doing this is that I can stake another token. So we're going to come down here and we're going to find the fun one. So usually I come here to figure out which values I want to stake with. Uh, an important notice if you see this, cumulative, cumulative stake above this can halt the network. So these validators up here, sorry, I don't even think I can. These validators up here are, you know, because they're so large, they alone by going offline, getting attacked, can actually halt the network. They can stop the network from functioning uh, efficiently or, you know, stop it from functioning at all in some cases. So what usually you want to try and do if you want to keep a decentralized network uh, and decentralized network just means that there's not as much of a central point of failure. One second, I am cooking and so I'm gonna make sure I'm not burning anything. <laughs> Unfiltered, uh, because I'm definitely not going to cut that out. This is this is going to keep. I did it on purpose. This is going to keep me keeping this video shorter than an hour, like last time. So to improve decentralization, uh, you can delegate to validators below. But if you delegate to a validator too close to the bottom, right, you might have to worry about them getting kicked out. So me, for example, I delegated to a validator that was too close to the bottom, and look. They lost like 1.2 million stake and now they're no longer validating. So we're gonna pick a validator that's closer to the top and maybe has a bit less fees. Okay, because you know, 10% fees is actually quite high when you look at a lot of these. Um, let's see. Do 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 any of the usually I go by cool names. Uh, but you also do want to see like how many epochs have they missed. So zero is usually what you'd like to see. How, uh, the next number, I, well, I'm pretty sure, is how, how many epochs they've been. So yeah, online epochs, sorry, online epochs and offline epochs. So it, for me, usually what I wanna see is a high number here. It means they've been validating for a really long time. So for example, Dragonfly, they're a professional staking service. Uh, they invested quite a bit into Nier. Um, but this, first of all, they've missed two epochs, usually what I wouldn't want to see, uh, but they've only been in 48. <clears throat> and that's because they're a relatively new uh, staking provider. So here, I, usually I want to try and, with my own funds, uh, support validators that have been around for a really long time and only have one or two offline epochs. So let's see if we can find a really cool one that's been around for uh, all... 240 epochs has zero missed uh, epochs and has a low fee. Okay, so here we have, you know, they've missed only one. That's not bad. And they have a 1% fee. I wonder if I can rank this by fees. Yes, we can rank it by fees. There we go. So now we're looking at all the 1% ones, but we want one below this 10% mark because remember this, or sorry, 10 million mark. This 10 million mark we know is above the threshold and it's not, it's gonna keep centralizing the network. So let's see, let's see. I think the best we're gonna find is, wow, 850 dead. So some of these older ones you could see 
a lot of people are delegating to them, right? But 10 million, uh, 13 million stake, 10 million stake. So I think we're gonna go with one of these, one of these three, okay? Um, let's see. This one didn't get in as quickly, has 99 people counting on them. Uh, build links, let's go with stake in. Actually, I love the number 19, ooh, I love the number 21. Let's do both of them. So we're gonna do stake in and build link. So here, um, I wonder if you could search. Ooh, you can search, hit select, stake with validator. We're gonna do one, submit stake. I've gotta confirm, right? Because every time you submit a transaction on the blockchain, you've gotta confirm, approve, okay? And it's pretty quick block times, around one to two seconds. Uh, but it, I think it does probably do a callback as well. We'll see. But anyways, there you go. Return to dashboard. And what was the other one I said? I wanted to do uh, build links. And you know what? We'll do stake Asabi too. Why not? We could have them all race each other. Stake my tokens. One. Oops. Build links. Select. Stake with validator one so you could stake with multiple validators so just in case one doesn't give you rewards that's all right you could stake with a different val with multiple validators and uh try and mitigate that risk of one validator going down and losing rewards because it takes up to two three days to withdraw your stake and that's for you know mitigating against you know nothing at loss attacks or you know long range attacks and all that kind of stuff uh, so you do need to wait a few epochs. Remember, epochs are just periods of time where the validators are for sure voting. Um, so you need to wait, and it shows you right here, right? Um, to these tokens have been unstaked, but are not ready to withdraw. Tokens are ready to withdraw 52 to 65 hours after staking. It's four epochs from what I, from what I remember. Uh, I don't think I did them all yet. There was one more I wanted to do. Stake Sabi. Stake Sabi. Okay. And we're going to stake one more, one near with that validator. Submit stake, confirm. Uh, and we're just going to go for all these uh, validators. And so over time, I mean, one near, we might, we might not even see our rewards on the UI actually. So maybe I should have uh, done this with a higher amount. <laughs> Um, but it's that easy. You could, you could validate with multiple, uh, you could stake with multiple validators. So it says total amount staked here. You could see all your current validators. And if you go to your summary page, I know uh, profile, I think they just updated the UI. Um, I thought they updated the UI to show all of your validators you're staking with on this profile page. There you go. Uh, this now looks different than it did a few seconds ago, right? Uh, now it's showing how much you have reserved for storage. It's showing how much you have in staking pools, pending release, available for withdrawal. So for example, if you want to see what it looks like when you're pending release, you can go to marmaj.near and you could see here, I mean, it's showing, there you go. Uh, we have 1600 near in staking pools, but we, it's, it's all pending release. Uh, and I have 22 near staked with the ZK validator pool. Uh, honestly, this was meant to be a pretty short video. It's under 20 minutes so far. And that's just a quick intro, uh, intro to how to get started staking. Uh, we've already gone over how to get your wallet started and how to send tokens around. All you gotta do now is come to the staking dashboard, uh, pick a validator, and stake with it. And if you don't know what value to stake with, you can get more information on this website, near-staking.com. Uh, and I'll put the link to near-staking.com and wallet.org slash staking in the links to this video. Uh, and yeah, thank you for following along. Uh, next video, we're gonna go have some fun with on Berry Club, a dApp, a decentralized application. And we'll start figuring out, now that we've staked some tokens for savings and we've made our account, uh, how do we start spending some tokens? We could check out Paris and, and Berry Club and, and those two dApps so far. Okay, thanks for coming along. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Uh, see you next time.